Hello everyone and welcome back to Highwire where we give you this week's top headline news. I'm joined here with I'm Delaney Benison and Christopher Spinelli and of course me Brendo Baldo. Um, there's a lot of a lot of things going on today in the world. What what do you want to start us off? Where do you? Yeah, so we're going to talk about the Samsung phones a little bit at first uh, to start off. Uh, officially, they have been banned from some international flights, so U.S., Asia. Um, the phones have had 96 reports of overheating, 13 cases of burns, in which one actually burned a man on a flight and burned the floor. Um, any thoughts on this? Crazy. Can yeah. I just ask you, do you guys have iPhones or do you guys have Samsung? I'm an iPhone person. Yeah. This is yeah. why you should stay with iPhones. <laughs> no, this is why. Seriously, have you seen the pictures? It's, it's scary. It looks like, looks like when I try to roast marshmallows, it's like, but actually dangerous, you know? Yeah. I mean, it looks yeah. like it survived a nuclear attack. Like it was, it was mm -hmm. that messed up. Um, yeah, no, it's really crazy. And it's, it's gone to an international standpoint, which I think was probably the right move um, on behalf of lights everywhere. Um, yeah, I actually have a quote here by the transportation, this is a long name, the U.S. Department of Transportation and Federal Aviation Administration. Um, the Secretary Anthony Fox said, we recognize that banning um, these phones from airlines will inconvenience some passengers, but the safety of all those aboard on, on an, air, an aircraft must take priority. Um, I mean, that's true. We, you know, we're living in a very dangerous world and the safe, safety comes first. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Could you say the name of that uh, department one more time? No. <laughs> <laughs> um, so next we're going to move on to Zika. Uh, it's had its fourth local infection case in Miami. Um, so there have been 1,031 Zika infections uh, this year and 168 in Miami this year alone. Thoughts on that? Crazy. Yeah. It's, it's unbelievable. Yeah. You know, as a guy, I feel like Zika doesn't really affect me that much. It's like, what are the symptoms? It's like, it's like headache, nausea, vomiting. It's like, it's how I feel after I go to the calf. It's not really, like, <laughs> I haven't had Zika for two and a half years right now. Right, that's a good point. That's true. But for, for women, it's very, very not ideal. Like uh, Hope Solo, she's not too, not too fond of our friend Zika. Yeah, she had a big statement in the Olympics in which she took pictures and posted them to Instagram showing like, the nets and like had bug spray all over her bed to the point where Brazilians were actually starting to make fun of her during the soccer games and you know chanting Zika 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 so like they were really getting after her because it's a ridiculous ridiculous um, situation that they were all put in uh, but unfortunately with Florida it's kind of made its way to the states so um, next, we're going to be talking about China finally joining the space race after 40 years. Um, getting into it, they sent two astronauts into space, um, joining the U.S. and Russia in their claims. Um, any thoughts on this? What's actually interesting about the two astronauts is that they've been um, they've been to space twice, which is kind of mm, crazy because they picked, I would say, someone that has been there already. And I mean, I don't know if that's the case. For other countries, don't normally people go there for like the first the time? First you go, you go through a lot of training. Right. So that's really interesting that they picked people that have been there before. I guess maybe because um, that way they'll know what they're doing and know what's what's up up there. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Two out of a billion. What's that percent? That's like that's <laughs> makes Harvard look easy. That's cra <laughs> it's like it's like a Fordham's financial aid percentage. That's true. <laughs> I won't be here a lot longer, but um, <laughs> but good for China, you know. Um, I think uh, maybe it's just because I wanted to be an astronaut when I was a uh, when I was a kid. I mean, I don't, I don't see how you couldn't want to be an astronaut. Like it's the coolest thing there is. Um, Absolutely. But I think it's also um, very scary, though. Like, what if well, something well, happens? Something goes logistics, wrong. Logistics, logistics. You're out there you by know? yourself with but, maybe um, like one other person in this case. But honestly, I'm surprised that China hasn't. You said it. I mean, like, come on, China. Like, get get with the times. Like. Yeah. But I mean, I guess they're also a little bit ahead because we haven't sent anyone to space in a very long time. But True. Obama has recently said that we will be sending people to Mars. Oh, that's amazing. Soon? That's Not cool. soon, in the next 10 years. But <laughs> we're, <laughs> time's right. we're trying, yeah. Um, so it's just kind like, of soon. Yeah, we're making strides. That's the most important thing. Um, so next we're going to talk about Hurricane Matthew. It slammed into Haiti and the Caribbean, um, causing um, a little over 1,300 deaths, 1300. I think. Yeah. Um, meanwhile, gently tapping Florida on the shoulder. Um, poor Florida. Yeah, poor Florida. Um, thoughts on this? I mean, 
To tell you the truth, I haven't seen a lot of news focused on Hurricane Matthew just because I feel like it's being, I feel like the election is just overshadowing everything else. Right. I just, I'm seeing comment, I mean, headline after headline about Donald Trump and his constant um, sexual assaults that I haven't really seen much about Hurricane Matthew. Maybe I'm looking, I'm looking in the wrong place, I'm not really sure. No, I think that's a valid point. I mean, um, I mean, everyone wants entertainment and one of the candidates is a lifetime entertainer. Um, that's really one of the only things he does well, unless, well, we'll get to him later. Don't, don't <laughs> worry, people. Um, but you know, people, people don't want to read like, uh, old man yells at weather. Like they want right. to, they want to see like, oh, what's, what's going on that is going to keep my attention. Right. Yeah, the weather reports though had for like Florida people fleeing. You know, they had them really, really getting them out. But I think most importantly was just the effects that it had on Haiti. Um, just big um, destruction. So that was tough overall. But I think for the most part, um, we can move on to Donald Trump. My favorite. <laughs> yes. Uh, Chris is really excited oh, about this one. I'd love to hate him. <laughs> so, so, what's not to hate this. Yeah. So Donald Trump has again been accused of sexual assault um, from a singer and songwriter, Kathy Heller. Um, oh, she's a singer. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Um, so any thoughts on this? On the movement? I mean, I think, again, I'll let you take this one. I think your standpoint is a little more... Uh, or your point of view, at least, is a little more uh, interesting as women. Right. Since, I mean, he's yeah. He's not too. This fun is ridiculous. I I've, I've heard. I mean, I've I've read so many stories about the the comments and the things that he's done to various women that are finally coming out now. But what really intrigues me is that women are now um, coming out with these stories. I mean, they were they would tell their family members or their friends about these encounters with him, but they're now just now talking to the media so you kind of have to think about timing too with the election how do you what do you guys think about that absolutely and i i think just with the whole him reacting to the media he thinks that the media is taking advantage of these things and using it to rig the election right. i don't think that's the case uh i think we're just reporting the facts um which you know for him is tough uh, he claimed that a lot of these women weren't good looking enough for him to kiss, sexually assault. Um, so it's just like one of these things that he just keeps putting his foot in his mouth and like I don't think he's making anything better for himself uh, when he keeps trying to defend it because he just looks ridiculous. I mean, I might have to disagree with you a little bit about, not the Trump part, that's all right, he's a terrible guy, but as far as the, um, the reporting side of it, I think there could be a bit of an issue with the, uh, the journalistic integrity because, um, not being an expert here, but I believe they had it for over a decade, that tape, because it's, it's not recent. Right. I mean, he has, yeah. he's a little less orange in yeah. the clip, you could tell. It's, <laughs> it's not just they put an Instagram filter on him, but um, it's interesting why they waited until he was right. the candidate, and it's, right. it's Trump or, or bust. Right. And now it's like, well, they, they busted him. But also, by the same token, um, why did this bust him? Because has he not has he not done enough himself? Yeah, that's, that's also very that surprising. this yeah. it's like you know I'm okay so with sexism, but not that much sexism. Right. Like why why now right. are people yeah. angry at him? Yeah, it's he said so many things, but it's so many different groups and people, and it's ridiculous that just now people are kind of waking up to what he's been saying. And I guess also kind of just to bring it back, he's saying that the election is rigged, but I mean, again, you know, these women are just now coming out. So I think that to his supporters, this might seem that he's actually, that the election is actually rigged. Yeah, I think this is a lot of timing. This is like all about the yeah. timing here. Yeah. And right, that's where it can come in a little bit uh, questionable with the media, but you know what, it's something that I do think we need to know. So um, I don't, I'm not, well, as much as I'd love to hate on Trump, <laughs> and speaking of timing, actually, it seems that we're out of time. So, uh, thank you for watching. I'm Chris. I'm Delaney. I'm Brenda. And this has been High Wire.